This is a problem involving the principle of impulse and momentum. A four ounce baseball is pitched with a velocity of 80 feet per second toward a batter. After the ball is hit by the bat, it has a velocity of 120 feet per second at an angle 40 degrees up. If the bat and ball are in contact for 0.015, that's 15 milliseconds, determine the average impulsive force exerted on the ball during the impact. I've sketched out the problem here. Um, so we've got this, the ball that's initially thrown at 80 feet per second. Here's the bat. And after the ball hits the bat, it flies off at 120 feet per second at an angle of 40 degrees up. So how are we going to solve this? Well, first let's write down the principle of impulse and momentum. And what that is, is we've got the initial momentum, that's the mass times the velocity, plus the impulse. And I'm going to write this this way. It's the impulsive force, so it's the sum of all the forces times the time. And that's usually ex uh, a small time when we solve these problems, a small constant, uh, a time over which the force is a constant. So we'll have this, um, a delta t, and that's going to equal, here's the initial velocity, um, the final momentum, v2. So what do we have here? Well, you can see here's this is v1, is uh, 80 feet per second in this direction, v2 is 120 feet per second at this angle, it's a vector. Um, the delta t is this time right here, the 15 milliseconds. And the question is, determine the average impulsive force. Average impulsive force. And that is right here, the average impulsive force. So let's solve what we, what we need to do to solve the problem is <coughs> solve this equation, and we're looking for here, the average impulsive force. Now the first thing we have to do is get our units straight as always, and so let's write down the mass. We need the mass of the ball. What's the mass? Well, we know the weight is 4 ounces. That was written up here. 4 ounce baseball. But we need mass, so 4 ounces. What's the mass? Well, 4 ounces is a weight. Let's get that into pounds first. An ounce, there are 16 ounces in a pound, so that's 4 sixteenths of a pound. That's the weight of the ball. We divide that by the gravitational constant, 32.2 feet per second squared, and we get the mass in slugs. This works out to be, let me write down, 0 0.0078 slugs. Let's rewrite that, 0 0.0078 slugs is the mass of the ball. Now we just have to solve the problem. We're going to write down the x components and then the y components. I'm going to speed through this.
Okay, so the final force, we can write this way, the force, it's a vector of course, and it's going to be 39.9 pounds in the y direction, and an additional 89 pounds in the x direction force is going to be something like this where the sides of the triangle are 39.9 this way 89 there we can calculate the complete magnitude of the force and that would be um, you know 39.9 squared plus 89 squared and take the square root of that and that works out to be 97.5 pounds and we, then we can also calculate this angle here, because we know those two are 39.9 and 89, and we can use trigonometry. And that angle is 24.2 degrees. And so that is the solution.